Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to show you guys on what I've been doing for the last two months, two, three months. So um, in my last video, I showed you guys on how I made my first 1000 US dollars on Shopify dropshipping. Um, uh, you can see it here. If you don't, if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you watch that because I have shared what I did to make that thousand dollars. So uh, primarily I'm using Facebook advertisements to um, make sales. I'm not using uh, Instagram influencer. Um, I'm pretty new to Shopify dropshipping and so far we made around uh, 8,000 US dollars for the last one. Sorry. Um, I started Shopify on uh, October, but we haven't made any sales on October. So November, December and January. So now February. And you guys already know that it's Chinese New Year. So we have turned off all our assets, all our campaigns. Uh, and um, we just recently turned it back on and uh, we having some issues with the payment processor and other stuff. Before that, let me show you guys the results so far I got. So this is the store I'm talking about. You can see it here, $8,200. Um, these are some real numbers. These are, these are not some fake numbers because getting 335 orders is not a rocket science. Okay. And uh, let me refresh the screen. Uh, let me uh, see it here. You can see here the numbers are same. Uh, eight thousand two hundred and three dollars um, as you can see here we have turned off all of our assets because of the Chinese New Year uh, some of our products are not working that good uh, when I turn the campaign back on so we need to find new products but um, uh, we just recently started testing some new products like five products today so let's see what happens and uh, these are some of my peak days where peak months where I made around uh, 4,000 Jan was my peak month where we made uh, $4,400 the profit margin is around 17% uh, um, to 25% uh, it depends on products uh. so uh, during this period I almost changed uh, two to three products because I haven't found that big winner and you can see here uh, it shows as 17,000 so 16,430 and the conversion rate is around 1.73 the thing is, uh, recently I've been getting a lot of like on uh, December and January, I've been getting a lot of uh, fake visitors, bots to my site. So Shopify counts those also as a visitor. That's the reason the conversion rate uh, is shown as 1.73. Uh, but in a uh, mm, uh, real scenario, the conversion rate is around 2.5% uh, to 3%. Uh, 3% on best days, I get 5%, 4%. On average, I get 3% conversion rate. That means every hundred visitors i send from facebook ads i get three sales that's three percentage right so or usually i get two two to three sales so let's say two sales so that's two percent conversion rate uh and i sell a product uh between 25 to 30 bucks so you can see it here i've been recently testing a lot of uh high ticket products you can see it here 2167 27 86 and it's going up 39 so uh recently i've been testing a product for 39.99 so let's see what happens and uh, let me show you guys what's really working and what are the winning tricks uh, I found uh, by doing Facebook ads for the last three months. So uh, before that, uh, if you guys need any help, uh, I would like to help you. So uh, I'm not going to charge anything. It's totally free because uh, I would like to help you and I would like to uh, build my YouTube channel. So um, if you need any help, you can reach me on Facebook. Um, just send me a screenshot. Um, all you need to do is in exchange all you need to do is leave a like to this video and leave a comment positive comment um, uh, or else if you have any questions leave them below and uh, like this video watch this video till five or six minutes because it will help me to reach more people like you and I would like to help you in exchange you can reach me on Facebook just send me the screenshot of your like and uh, comment I'll uh, if you have any questions I would like to help you with the questions so uh, so right now let's talk about the testing phase because uh, we need a product to make money with Shopify dropshipping right so uh, in this case I use uh, some spy tools like uh, Pexta, Ecom Hunt and other stuffs. I use more than three um, uh, spy tools at the same time because uh, it because all you need is one product guys trust me it's true that all you need is one product to uh, make uh, $150 or even if you want to make thousand or two thousand US dollars all you need is one product So if it's a winner, 
is going to make uh, all the money you need to uh, afford those uh, software tools so try to invest some money on those software tools because uh, it will give you a lot of um, data which is very very important which is uh, they on spy tool web pages and they will give you data on um, a Shopify store which are uh, selling the particular product and making money so uh, you will get to uh, understand how they are selling how they design their landing pages and how they uh, uh, what are the um, uh, headlines they used on their uh, uh, post Facebook post and uh, so you'll get those ideas and uh, like uh, try to use them for at least one or two months which which is very very highly highly suggested because uh, if you don't use them you will you will never have an idea on how to find a winner and how winners look like and how people's marketing it so that's the reason try these uh, spy tools for at least one or two months which is very very recommended because after that you don't need them you can literally uh, find mm, products on uh, Facebook ads sorry uh, inside Facebook by just uh, typing some words like um, free shipping or else uh, typing 50 person get yours or get yours now you can do that so uh, try to use them because all you need is one product guys because just think about it uh, um, mostly these spy tools will cost you around uh, let's say 17 bucks to around 25 dollars I think so I'm not sure so somewhere around 22 to 25 but I'm sure about that text cost you around 25 bucks so uh, mm, so these are the spy tools I used uh, to find winners uh, like I haven't find that big winner but still I'm finding uh, some good products which is uh, uh, making me some profit I'm happy about that so I'll be keep on testing new product from these spy tools so let me break down on how I marketed with Facebook ads and what are the strategy I used so uh, mm, I used one product per campaign so uh, just go ahead and create a campaign let me also show you guys how to create a campaign in the next video so let me show you guys the overall uh, view of how to do this so uh, I create a campaign and I'll have 10 different assets let's say uh, so these are gonna be your assets with different targeting so uh, I don't use five dollars a day budget uh, because um, if an asset is not gonna work on three dollars a day it's never gonna work on thirty dollars or forty dollars a day so uh, I test with three dollar a day budget which means I spend uh, thirty dollars to uh, test a product on day one so uh, on day one mostly ninety percentage of the time the campaign won't produce you any uh, sales uh, so let it run for at least uh, one more day because uh, on the second day you will understand what's happening so if ads it doesn't have any click through uh, like any link clicks like zero link clicks after spending three bucks or four bucks just turn those ads it off because they won't perform well so let's say uh, on day one I have 10 ads it's uh, with three dollar ads budget so uh, the first day I spent thirty dollars and all I need is one sale to uh, make the money back because uh, mostly I'll be selling a product for around uh, like one or two sales to make the money back uh, with profit margins are 15 bucks you need two sales to uh, break even if it's a ten dollar profit margin product then you need three sales so always always try to find a product which has higher profit margin like at least uh, 15 plus like 15 to 20 bucks if you have uh, like if you make 15 to 20 bucks every sales then that's highly highly recommended because uh, um, on average my ad account I get uh, um, cost per purchase is around uh, 15 plus so uh, that's the reason so uh, it depends on the product also but uh, if you sell a product for 29.99 and it's going to cost you 15 bucks so you just make uh, 15 bucks profit uh, so you need to find a product where you can sell it for uh, 34.99 or 29.99 with cost of goods is less than six seven bucks because it's going to give you 18 bucks in profit so you'll have a lot of room 18 bucks is not a lot of money but still it will give you a good amount of money to spend on Facebook ads so you can see it here on day one I'll be making around uh, let's say I have 10 assets uh, each asset I will be having uh, three ad copies guys three ad copies are highly recommended because uh, uh, you need to give Facebook that uh, options to uh, give you uh, um, less CPM and uh, high CTR so that's the reason always always go for three 
plus sorry three three is recommended uh, three ad copies so you can see it here on day one I'll be having 10 ads and mostly like 20% success rate uh, let's say you you, you get uh, two ads it's working so out of 10 you only have two right now so right now we have two ads it's working um, like pro, um, producing results like uh, let's say it has two plus sales so uh, right now in this position you're profitable and uh, the ROAS will be above your break-even point so uh, all you need to do is just go ahead and uh, find similar targeting uh, audience uh, have tested different strategies like duplicating it and uh, um, like duplicating it five times and duplicating uh, or else uh, creating some random targeting so those are not working so just go ahead and, and uh, uh, open uh, that particular ad set and mostly you'll see an uh, interest in it so just uh, click on suggestion button on Facebook ads so it's going to give you a drop down on the suggested interest uh, so uh, there's a reason why Facebook uh, suggesting you the second one because it's much more similar to the first one so try to create an ad set on the same campaign guys so this method really worked a lot for me there's a reason I'm sharing this and this is working on 2019 so um, this method works so just try to create two more ad sets on the similar interest because don't create more ad sets if you don't have enough winning ad sets. this is very very important you can't uh, just keep on creating more ad sets inside your campaign because uh, your profit need to be much more lower than your testing uh, sorry the losses so if you have if you test uh, 10 or 20 ad sets on the second day so you will be on the loss even you make profit from these two assets you'll be losing money here so that's the reason so uh, like slow and steady test your new assets very slow and steady um, for let it run for two or three days and let's see what happens and turn them off if they uh, if it spends more than um, uh, six dollars or else uh, nine dollars and it haven't it haven't get you any sales just go ahead and turn it off because the only metric you need to focus on is cost per purchase and ROAS. You don't have to care about other stuffs like uh, CPM or click, uh, like click, click. You have to see them if it's not making any sales. If it's making your sales, then consider these two uh, metrics: cost per purchase and ROAS. These are the most important metric, guys. Trust me. When I started, I have struggled a lot, uh, uh, but I have some experience with Facebook ads because. Uh, I use Facebook ads to run my other businesses like AdSense business. I still do that. Um, so far this month, sorry, so far this year, we made around, for the last six months, we made around $25,000 plus with our AdSense business. Um, I'll make a video on that. And uh, so keep on adding new ads uh, with a similar interest. So uh, the next thing is you need to do micro testing, which is, so uh, if you keep on adding similar interest and at some point of time it won't be working because uh, let's say you created your 10th ad set in this particular way and uh, you, f you find your uh, similar interest by this way and mostly it won't work, start working so you need to uh, test other things like breaking down. Breaking down ad set is one of the uh, easiest way to get cheaper conversions. Uh, so. Uh, breaking down uh, on Facebook you'll see an option called breaking down button on the right side corner just click that and uh, you can break down uh, assets by age gender and um, country mostly I'll be uh, targeting four uh, tire one countries like uh, United States Canada Australia New Zealand and um, United Kingdom so these are the five countries I target with my ad sets. Uh, I don't do worldwide targeting because I have tried that and it's not working for me. So now when you have a winning ad set, break down by age, gender and uh, country and other stuff like uh, placements. You can also do placements. Um, so let's say uh, Australia is working for you. So all you need to do is next time you do a similar interest, only target Australia. Um, try that way so you you'll be having a lot of options to create assets on daily basis but don't create more assets compared to how many um, winning you have let's say you have uh, 10 winning assets on your campaign don't create more than six winning uh, six testing assets because it's going to eat your profits you made on that day that's the reason so just 
do this rinse and repeat and try to maintain the campaign uh, level uh, ROAS. Um, because when you're just getting started, you tr you you get um, um, you try to maintain ad set level ROAS. Because when I started, I tr I was focusing on uh, uh, maintaining the ROAS on the ad set level, which is very, very biggest mistake I done. So uh, you sh you try to uh, maintain your ROAS on your campaign level. You you should never like every time you test, go back to your campaign and see the ROAS for the last uh, whatever the day you tested. Because if it started going down, then you should. Uh, reduce the number of testing you do with the campaigns because uh, you can't keep on launching new ads it's if your campaign uh, the entire ROAS is going down if it's going up then it give you it's it's going to give you a positive uh, sign and you can create more ads it's like let's say uh, 10 winning ads it's I'll be creating six to seven testing ads it's for every 10 winning ads it's huh? if I don't have 10 winning ads then I will reduce this numbers on testing so this is the exact stuff I used. Uh, so um, if you guys need any help and if you guys want me to look at your uh, Facebook ad account and uh, if you are struggling to make money, so uh, just try to reach me on Facebook, uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, in the next video, I'll be more elaborate on how I'm doing this. Uh, I'll show you guys some examples, real examples. And uh, let me also show you guys on how to find some good products to make sales. And uh, if you want me to help you guys, just reach me on Facebook and all you need to do is just leave a like and leave a positive comment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Uh, I'll be answering them and uh, just send me a screenshot to my Facebook uh, messenger. I'll, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Uh, if you have any questions, I can answer them. If you want me to uh, look at your Facebook ad account, I can do that. Um, so uh, pretty much that's all guys and uh, in the next video, I'll be... Uh, providing you more information regarding Shopify with my and other businesses like AdSense affiliate marketing. So uh, see you guys in the next video.